हेलो एवरीवन आई एम अर्जुन आई एम अंकिता आई एम आस्था एंड आई एम दीक्षा एंड वी आर प्री फाइनल ईयर स्टूडेंट्स परसुइंग बी टेक इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम डी ए वी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी जलंधर वी हैव कंडक्टेड अ सर्वे ऑन द टॉपिक क्रिएटिंग एन इंटरनेट पावर्ड बाई यूजिंग हंड्रेड परसेंट रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी नाउ वी प्रोसीड द टॉपिक स्टार्टिंग विद द इंट्रोडक्शन which will be continued by arjun the covid-19 pandemic has led to an inevitable surge in the use of digital technologies due to social distancing norms and nationwide lockdown do you know that internet causes environment problems around 60% of the people are aware of this fact the answer to many more such interesting questions awaits you as the video unfolds so keep watching the internet that we know offers numerous advantages such as online banking paperless transactions live video interaction and much more it has brought data at our doorstep and there are 4.66 billion internet users in the world today which is around 60% of the global population in our mind the internet is the magical place but have you ever pondered that the internet which has almost become the lifeline of people can affect the environment as well this may surprise you but it is true that means even liking a picture on social media watching a video and sending an email can cause climate damaging co2 researchers have found out that a normal email contains about 4 g of carbon footprint but Does that mean we have to stop using the internet if we want to do something good for the environment? The answer is no. We want to make the internet green instead of smaller. But before we cover how internet causes environmental problems and how to deal with it, we must know how internet works first. The video that you are watching now has traveled thousand of miles from Google Data Center to reach you. The data center which can be thousands of miles away from you has your video stored inside it to be more specific it is stored in a ssd within data center then how does this data reach to you well it is done with the help of complicated network of optical fibers which connect between the data center and your device the ssd act as the internal memory of a server a server is simply a powerful computer whose job is to provide you the stored content when you request it now the challenge is how to transfer the data stored in the data center to your device via the network of optical fiber the server in the data center also has an ip address the server stores a website so you can access any website just by knowing the server's ip address However, it is difficult to remember so many IP addresses. So we use domain name like google.com, youtube.com, etc. In this way, internet works. Now, Ankita will explain you the negative effects of the internet on environment. Negative effect of internet on environment. It's easy to think of internet as a purely virtual world. data appears to sync instantly and magically across our devices we connect wirelessly with anyone anywhere in the world using nothing more than our phone and a wifi signal but the reality is very different the global information and communication technology has the huge environmental impact so large in fact that its carbon footprint is on a par with entire aviation industry's emission from fuel now talking about carbon footprint what do we actually mean by that carbon footprint means the amount of greenhouse gases produced to send an email any email messages that you send across uses the energy for storing and transmitting the information through data centers even the emails sent as spam waste a lot of energy
According to study, about 14.5 billion spam emails are sent every day in 2018, which can generate enough much energy to power millions of homes and vehicles on road. One of the physicists found that 20 milligrams of carbon dioxide is emitted every second when a person browses any simple website. Data centers, in particular, consume a gigantic amount of electricity, 80% of which currently comes from fossil fuel power stations. Now we all know that the home appliances and vehicles are also getting connected to internet through IoT technology. It is also affecting the environment for instance the iot connected air conditioners and refrigerators emits carbon dioxide which will adversely affect the ozone layer the concern does not eliminate here we all are aware of the climatic changes and how it is posing a threat to marine life and people residing beside the coast however this complication has extended beyond the facets of nature to adversely affect digital life as well professor ball bafford views that about 400 miles of fiber optic cables and 1100 nodes may be underwater by 2033 this will be leading to increase in sea level today the internet can be accessed through smartphones but at the same time these devices also release em radiations and radio frequency which blends with atmosphere to increase the level of greenhouse gases now astha is going to explain the road map to green internet road map to green internet we all know that digital technology has transformed our lives by solving problems in innovative ways internet is an important part of our day to day lives and has a variety of uses as shown carbon emission is the biggest problem humanity is facing today the internet is here to stay but it cannot happen at the cost of extreme energy consumption so what's the solution the solution is green internet to overcome the effects that the generation and use of internet has on environment we use green internet now what do we mean by green internet green internet is a scenario where we optimize internet usage to save energy by judiciously using available resources core ideology to build a green internet is to reduce energy consumption without compromising with growth many effective methods have been proposed and are in making one of the solution for effective energy is econet now what's the meaning of econet in econet engineers have modified the router hardware design and software networking platform second one is to use renewable resources of energy like wind turbines and solar panels we can also decentralize power generation units by using hydrogen power plants another way is to introduce battery system solution or virtual power plants to cool up the heat produced by data centers they are being set in colder environment like the data centers of google and facebook are set near the north pole and microsoft under water which reduces electricity demand the good news is that a growing number of companies have begun to create a corner of internet that is renewably powered and coal free with over a half dozen major internet companies now committed to being 100% renewably powered including major operators such as apple facebook and google now diksha will conclude the survey creating an internet power 100% renewable energy was conducted for both engineering and non engineering background around 500 responses of people were received overall by analyzing the responses there are various observations about the percentage of people 
who are aware or familiar with internet power and renewable energy the observation from survey are as followed about 50% of female and 50% of male have filled the survey from the data collected henceforth it can be concluded that about 76% of people spend more than 6 to 10 hours on internet but ideally from our health point of view 2 to 5 hours a day on internet is sufficient we know that data we generate on website get stored on the servers of data center data center contain devices for storage purpose only from the data collected it is concluded that there are only 38% of people who are aware that their data gets stored on data center 20 to 40% people think that data is stored on their devices further from our next observation it can be concluded that around 60% of people are aware that internet causes environmental problems and 40% people are unaware about this fact for instance researchers have found that a normal email contain about 4 g of carbon footprint which is a cause of concern for environment it is possible to create an internet power using renewable energy from the data collected it is observed that only 50% of people are aware that it is possible to create an internet using renewable power energy in our research we got to know that large number of companies have begin to create a corner of internet that is renewably powered and coal free with over half dozen of major internet companies have now committed to begin 100% renewably powered using major operator such as apple facebook google from the data collected it is concluded that around 50 to 70% of people think that big corporations or mnc's are making effort to create a green internet let us join hands together in creating an internet powered by using 100% renewable energy so as to have a cleaner and safer environment because better environment means better tomorrow thank you for watching the video